get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the same And right now I feel like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders uh, like the founders of uh, RX Bars. They end up selling to Kellogg for $600 million, but they talked about the early days that weren't so easy. And uh, P90X founder Tony Horton talked about how he made, you know, this is interesting, Mitch. He made money as a street mime. Like the way he made food and rent money was he would put his hat on the street and do street miming to make his money before he obviously went on and sold hundreds of millions of dollars in P90X. Um, Atari founder, Nolan Bushnell, <laughs> talked about how he was Steve Jobs' mentor and Steve offered him 33% of Apple for $50,000 and why he said no and cool. many, many more. So check out the interviews in spiritinsider.com. Uh, the episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. And at Rise25, we help B2B businesses connect to their Dream 100 clients and referral partners. And basically what that does, it creates a systemized incoming referral pipeline that creates ROI. And this is using a podcast. For me, podcasting is much more personal. Um, it's not about just about your business. It's about leaving a legacy for yourself and your guests like we are today because it was inspired by my grandfather who was a Holocaust survivor. And him and his brother were in concentration camps in Nazi Germany. We're the only people to survive and his words and legacy live on because of an interview the Holocaust Foundation did with him, which you can watch on my About page. So yes, podcasting will help your business, and I think every business should have a podcast, period, but it also helps you leave a legacy and your guests leave a legacy. So if you have questions, you could email us and go to rise25.com or support at rise25media.com. I am super excited today um, to introduce Mitch Kahn. Um, Mitch co-founded Grassroots Cannabis in 2014. Through his leadership as CEO, the company has grown to have 61 licenses and operations in 11 states with more than 800 employees. When I checked the stats, I think yesterday, Mitch, you like doubled in size from yesterday to today. It's like yeah, I had to, to fact check this because they've grown so quickly just in the past year. And um, Cure Leaf, which is a Massachusetts-based company, signed a merger agreement with Grassroots Cannabis for $875 million in stock and cash. And the deal will make the company at the time, you know, the largest medical and adult use cannabis company. Uh, Mitch, thank you for, for joining me. Oh, my pleasure, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Mitch, so I always ask this Inspired Insider um, two questions. One, what's been a low moment, a huge challenge that you had to overcome? And on the flip side, what's been a really proud moment from all the stress and tough challenges that you have to fight through with the business. What's been um, a low moment that you can share and how you kind of push through? Well, you know, I'll give you a couple, I guess. First one I mentioned earlier. I mean, when we got to the point in Pennsylvania where we ran out of money and couldn't pay our contractor, um, it was a pretty low moment. Contractor happens to be a friend of mine, which some people might think that made it easier. It actually made it much more yeah. difficult. Um, that was a challenge. That was a moment where we were looking at ourselves saying, are we going to actually fail? Um, so that was certainly a low moment. I think the other low moment for us in many regards was as, you know, we started in the dispensary side only. It took us a while to kind of get our legs and, and kind of grow in a more logical way, which I think was better for us long term. But as we turned around, we weren't grown up enough yet to do, to go public. And as we saw folks like MedMen and GTI and Cresco and some of our friends, frankly, I mean, most of our friends, um, go public and get lots of accolades and have values through the moon, um, in some ways you could think that would be a great thing, but it actually was a low moment for, for me and for our team. It kind of felt like we just didn't get there fast enough. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, um, you know, in many regards, people will say, well, the highest moment has to be the day you signed the deal. Um, the truth is not really. I mean, it, it, it was um, the value of our company was there, uh, whether we did it through a public offering, this transaction, other transactions, like we had created that value. Um, it's really nice to have that 
you know, have someone else agree that you created that value. And it's like a validation. And, uh, yeah. You know, it is, it is a validation. On the other hand, listen, it is, you know, mostly a stock transaction. So we're in it for the long term, And we think what we did is, is the, is, is a, frankly, a better, better, much better solution for the company and for the business long-term to create that long-term value, which is what I'm in it for and what my partners are in it for. Um, but I think to me, in a lot of ways, the best moments have been as we've been able to attract the best talent we've been able mm. to attract to get, to get somebody to come work for us who was the, you know, who came from a very senior position at Kimberly Clark, who had, who had the experience from Abercrombie and Fitch and Petco and a couple other places to, to kind of like, to me, that was in a lot of ways, the most validation. Hmm. Um, I Attracting mean, again, the I, top know, talent. To me, that's, it's a funny thing. Like that's way more validating than going to raise money from investors, hmm. which I know for most people, it should be the opposite. Uh, and it certainly was a good thing. We take them, you know, we take our investors very, very seriously, obviously. And um, that was a huge lift and a great result to raise $90 million at that point in, in the cycle of this world. And, um, but, but it was, uh, that has really been one of the high points for me. Um, and, you know, I, I think we're going to have, pl- you know, plenty more to come even as we get this transaction done and uh, as the business kind of gets to the next phase. Yeah. Mitch, I want to be the first one to thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks for sharing your, your leadership knowledge, your business knowledge. Um, I know you're up late, you're up early, and you have a busy day, so I really do appreciate it. Where should we point people towards online to check out? I know grassrootscannabis.com. Uh, where yep. else should we point people to just check out your, your business and maybe they're interested in, in going to one of the facilities? Um, where should we point people to? Well, I think that's the best place to start. The website, as you said, uh, grassrootscannabis.com, is that that will take you everywhere you need to be. Obviously, we have a a uh, you know Instagram page and a uh, you know and a Twitter feed or handle or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I think the website is you know website's the best place to start. Um, you know, if people are looking to talk to us about job opportunities, obviously you can do that through the website. It'll tell you where all our dispensaries are, give you a little mm-hmm. insight into what's going on in the company. Um, yeah, yeah, we probably, use it as an edu- Yeah. Um, what, uh, what are you looking to hire for now? Um, uh, there's probably 30 openings on our website. Okay. It's a, it literally is a nonstop job <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> for our HR folks. Um, you know, our, our, our corporate team is pretty built out at the moment. We're, we're continuing to look to do different things. We're, we're just, we've been on a one year, uh, exercise of building best in class data and analytics, which is, we think going to separate us from a lot of other guys in the business. Uh, we're excited about that for us. And then for the combined company, it really is best in class. No one has anything close to it. So we're now just beginning to do that. So we're going to ultimately go look for some data scientists folks Hmm. to come work for us. Um, but we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're hiring all kinds of different people. A lot of folks in the field, obviously, as we build up new facilities in places like North Dakota, Arkansas, Oklahoma, mm-hmm. uh, more in Pennsylvania. So it's, uh, right. it's a, you know, it's a, there's a lot going on. Check out grassrootscannabis.com. Thanks again, Mitch. Thank you, Jeremy. Really appreciate the time. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other Peach if you find the same right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand